guys, welcome back to another video. It's Trey the DIY Ninja and today we are going to be doing a front and back sublimation with a left chest logo. And a full picture back. So this is a picture of a male model that I'm making for my sister-in-law. This is the left chest logo image and this is the back image. You recognize him? He's like probably from BTS or something. Who knows? I'm just kidding. Don't come for me, ARMY. BTS ARMY. Anyways, um, right now we're just going to prep. Right now I have the pressing mat with butcher paper covered on the inside. I also have my Cricut Easy Press 2 heating up over there. It's 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Once that's heated up, we'll be right back. Okay, so I have the pressing mat pushed over to the um, left side of the garment. And I'm just going to move this for now because we need to do the most important step of sublimation, which is lint rolling the area. If you don't do this and you have a white or light gray or even colored garment, you will get like little blue dots permanently pressed into your sweater or shirt or whatever you're pressing onto and it won't wash out so never skip this step. Okay, oops, I'm like shaking the camera. Okay, next we're going to position the transfer. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to position the transfer. So this is a size medium, but my sister-in-law is like an extra small. So we're going to be moving the logo a little closer in than normal, just slightly, just so that it doesn't like fall off her shoulders. So I'm going to go two fingers from the collar seam and I'm going to go one hand. Let's see how I can do this without blocking the camera. One hand in. So it is going to look a little bit strange at first. But yeah, once you find the right position for your left chest logo, um, it's best to try on the shirt or garment first and then just find and mark where you think it lays right on your chest. But if you're doing this for a customer or for a gift and they're not available, then you're probably just going to have to go based on what size they normally wear. Okay, so I'm just going to tape this down with heat tape and we'll be right back. Now, we put the position, we put it where we want it, and I'm just going to put on some heat transfer tape. Yeah, just on the corner. Is that too much? It's fine. Okay. Just as long as it's not like covering the image. Wow, small Okay. Oops, we forgot a step, but it's not that crucial. Uh, should we? What is it? <laughs> to preheat the area. Oh. We should preheat the area. If, if you think it probably has a better result, then yeah. Um, okay, yeah, let's take it off. Okay. okay. Next, we're going to just preheat the area. Just grab the Cricut Easy Press and put it over the section that you're going to. Just pick it up, yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then be careful. Don't touch the ends. Yeah, and just place it on top. Okay. Uh, like around the area yes. yeah and then just hold it there for a couple seconds and then lift it up and you're good yes. all right so now the area is nice and pressed got rid of any extra moisture and oops, stuck to another. and then we're gonna place the transfer where you want it so in this case we want the left chest logo so now we have our left chest logo taped down and you want to make sure you put the heat tape on the corners where the image is not and then we're going to take a piece of clean butcher paper and place it on top so yeah you can just place it on top okay and yep then you're going to take your heat press lift it up and then make sure it's covering the entire image Okay, and press the C to start the timer. Just, yep. And you're going to push down with your all your body weight as hard as you can for the whole 60 seconds. Okay, and when that's done, we'll be right back. So 60 seconds is up. We're just going to take the parchment paper. Santa Claus. Uh, that's my son, of course. I'm also going to fold it in half. 
to make sure we know which side the ink was on. And then it's really hot. Do you want to peel or you want me to peel? Okay, I'll just peel it because you might burn yourself. And then we're just going to rip off the transfer. And there we go. Looks pretty good. And let me show you most of the ink went through. So that's perfect. <laughs> okay, so now we have flipped the sweatshirt um, towards its back. Okay, baby. <laughs> so we flipped it to the back side, and I have replaced the butcher paper on the inside of the pressing mat and put it in between. And now we're going to lint roll. So if you could just lint roll the whole back of this mat. Because again, you don't want any like manufacturer lint on there because when you press on it, it's going to turn blue. It's going to be pressed permanently in there and it's not going to look great. So yeah. What picture is that? What's that picture is that, Auntie? What is that picture? And we're just going to preheat. You can move around like an iron. Just what picture case. is? And just do that what for 5 to that? 10 seconds. Okay, that's good. What picture is that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to put this K-pop star onto the back. So you're going to, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you the trick here. So you're going to fold it in half like this. And then you're going to just crease it in the middle. Okay. So that way when you put it down, you can you feel know. that middle seam. Okay? Got it. Oh, I also forgot to mention that my sister-in-law is joining me and helping me make these sweaters right now. So if you happen to see like um, two sets of hands and two different sets of clothes, that's why. Though I think we're wearing something that looks pretty similar. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have known. But yeah. Okay. So there is, so the crease you can feel here and then I also flip up the tag from the back just so you know. So the middle of this tag is the middle of this. You want to just line it up. It's a little off it feels. If you want to move that way a little, it's up to you. Like go from the middle of this seam tag and then line it up to you. Yeah, I think that's Okay. And then he's facing the right way, right? Like his. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay. That would be really funny. Okay, and make sure. I usually line it up to this mat to make sure it's straight and not line the mat to the table, but I don't think it's straight right now. So as long as it's straight to you, that's okay. fine. Just because, you know, I can't see that well. Yeah. And then here you can tape down on the corners. I think that should be good. Then take a fresh piece of butcher paper and cover the whole image. And then put the press on. And this one's a little trickier because you can't see where the square is, you know, the transfer. So just okay. try to eyeball it. Okay. But since it's a circle and it's in the middle, you should be fine. Yeah. Like if it was a square image, it would be a lot harder. So just Lay it down once and then don't try, no, don't slide oh, it. Sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. We have the tape on, so you should be okay. So if you do move your press while you're um, sublimating and you're not, you didn't tape down your transfer, it will cause ghosting. So hopefully it's okay. I think we're good because you taped it down pretty well. And then, yep, let the 60 seconds go. We'll be right back when we're done with the press. Okay, 60 seconds is up. Once again, I take my butcher paper, fold it in half. Put it to the side. Do you want to do the peel? Let's peel and reveal. You can do it one fast motion, okay? okay. Good. How does it look? It looks great. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a close-up. Okay, so there we go. You can kind of see my shadow. We're kind of working in the evening, so lighting is not the best right now. But I think the transfer came out really clean. Looks good. Okay, now we're just going to take out the mat with the paper and discard that. And then I'll show you the final, final reveal. Okay, so I'm putting it on my usual chair model. Here is the completed front to back with left chest logo and full back print sweatshirt, sublimated sweatshirt custom with a picture. So there's the left chest. And let me just turn this around. I'll just turn my chair around. Actually, I'll turn myself around. And here is the back. 
So yep, I think it turned out really well. We'll see what it looks like um, after its first wash. I'm not sure how much this will fade since this particular image was already pretty light to begin with. But I'll definitely keep you updated on my Instagram. Make sure to follow me at DIY underscore ninja underscore. Was that my Instagram? I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Thumbs up this video. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.